Hi, this is Vishal Mathur from thinkdigit.com. We are at the Auto Expo 2014. Lots of very good cars, lots of interesting new models. This is the Renault Collios, the SUV from the house of Renault. We are sitting inside a car which feels extremely premium, though it looks ex quite different from what you generally get in that segment. Allow me to explain how. This is the automatic transmission vehicle, so that's pretty clear from the off. What you have here is something which we have already seen in a couple of other cars. The Ford EcoSport is one example, the Hyundai i20 is another example. Your main display for the media playback is here and not here. So that kind of gives the dash a slightly bigger feel and a slightly more congested feel in a good way. A lot of features have been included in this car as you would expect. Your media playback controls sit here. This has Bluetooth connectivity to connect your phone to it. You can easily connect your phone to it up to 5 devices. Your FM playback, your MP3 dry disc, whatever. It's, it's all here. Interestingly, what you have, the start stop button is here. So, one press to start, double tap to stop the car with the brake press since this is an automatic transmission. You have your cruise control setting here. You can set the speed limit once you see that display change there, the multifunction display, you can set the speed there. This is your, your stability control in case you're driving on a bad terrain. Cooling controls sit here. Again, just like we saw in the Renault Duster, the Collios also has your volume control settings and your phone settings stock sitting right here behind the steering wheel. So that just that just gives the driver the additional flexibility of not having his having to take his hands off the steering wheel while controlling the phone. The only thing is you really need to have your fingers have the perfect idea of where each stock controller is. Apart from that, it's a very very premium looking car. The, the display is extremely crisp, adequately bright. But what we really like is the host of options that you have here. Even though this thing could have been slightly more modern, maybe Renault can look at bringing in the touchscreen that we saw in the duster into the Collias also. Maybe that will happen with a future upgrade. But at the moment, this combination is something that we have become used to over a period of time. So this works perfectly fine. You have two displays for your, all your information rather than having one, con congesting one with everything. And all in all, a lot of technology inside this car. We hope to get this car in detail for review sometime soon.